Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know there's been some discussions on some of the forums about how to unwinterize your 12SRK. Um, my winterizing video has been pretty popular, so there's been some requests for an unwinterizing video. However, here we are, March 27th, uh, 2022, and um, yeah, we still have winter here in Michigan. Uh, you can see behind me, there's our 12SRK still covered up. It's currently snowing and it's about, uh, I don't know, with the wind it feels like it's mid to low 20s today. So I'm not going to be unwinterizing anytime soon. So I thought just to put out some content um, while it's still winter and I'm thinking about unwinterizing, I checked our lithium ion battery today. So I'll do a short video on the battery that we bought last year, why we bought it and how I've been maintaining and monitoring it over the winter uh, and getting it ready for spring. Okay, here we are indoors now, it's a little bit warmer and uh, I wanted to talk about the lithium ion battery that we upgraded to last year. After the first two outings, we were very disappointed with the lead acid battery, but it came with the camper when we bought it used. So uh, we dealt with it for a couple of trips and then realized quick that the uh, 12 volt deep cycle wasn't going to work for us in our boondocking applications. So after a lot of research and watching some YouTube videos, uh, which one of them I will link in the description below, uh, we found the Chins uh, 100 amp hour battery on Amazon. Uh, they have a couple different batteries. Uh, this one comes in at about seven. Uh, I'm sorry, about five hundred and seventy-nine dollars. And we went with this one because it has the smart Bluetooth BMS, uh, so we're able to monitor uh, the battery state of charge and and discharge data um, on a cell phone app. And it does have the low temperature uh, charge control which is good here in Michigan for winter camping or you know early season or late season camping. So um, this is the one that we decided to go with. And since we got the lithium ion, I, I wasn't able to use my old traditional uh, battery tender um, charger. So I, I went ahead and I got the uh, NOCO Genius One uh, 1 amp maintenance charger. And uh, this is good for 6 and 12 volt batteries, and it works with all battery chemistries, lead acid, AGM, and lithium. Uh, so here's the app uh, for the Chins battery. Uh, this one is called uh, Vanomizer. And when you open up the app, it will connect to the battery via Bluetooth connection. And uh, before I made this video, I had already plugged it in this morning, so you can see I'm at 100%. Uh, SOC and I don't know how well you can see this on the camera um, but it does tell me that the voltage is 14.36 down here is the capacity 100 amp hours it's currently in standby mode because it's not being used and it's not being charged um, the state of health of the battery is perfect and I'm on my sixth charging um, uh, my sixth charge of my cycle life and the battery has a 2000 uh, 2000 cycle uh, warranty and I'm only on six six uh, cycles the next screen in the app <clears throat> uh, tells you the temperature of the battery the voltage and it tells you the current and I'm neither charging nor discharging so it reads uh, zero amps right now and when I am charging uh, with my NOCO 1 amp charger uh, this will read anywhere between 1 and uh, 0.9 amps and when I have it connected to the solar charger I notice there's about a 50% uh, current drop uh, from the solar charger to the actual current going into the battery so uh, if I have good sunlight and my solar charger is reading uh, 5 amps I'm getting about 200, uh, 2.5 amps at the charger, uh, at, at the battery itself. So there's about a 50% current reduction. Uh, I don't know what's causing that. I don't know if it's the length of wire um, between the, the charge controller and the battery. Um, but just so that you're aware, when you're reading 5 amps at your solar charger in the 12 RSRK, you're only getting about half that at the actual battery. 
um, just something to be aware of. And then the third tab in the cell in the uh, app, uh, it gives me the cell voltages um, of each individual cell in the battery. And it's important to check these uh, because if there's too much variation in your batteries, um, in, if there's too much deviation in your cells or, or variation in your cell voltage, uh, you could have um, a, a dead cell or, or a problem with one of your cells. So you want to make sure your cells are balanced. So that's the that's the app. Uh, that's the information uh, that you can get monitoring with your phone. Um, I find this handy. I don't know. I kind of just like to look at the data and, and know what's going on. So this is the app uh, that comes with the, the Chins battery.